What's up, guys? Welcome back. We are back in the suicide of Rachel Foster. I have since finished the game. And this video is going to take you all the way to the end. And I tell you, the story just gets absolutely crazy. Uh, I guess I apologize for such a long video, but I couldn't stop. Once you get into the story, once you get to this part, you just it draws you in. And get ready for one hell of a disturbing twist. And just edge of your seat kind of shit. Uh, that's all I got to say about it, man. Uh, let's jump into it and you guys can watch the video. And I hope you enjoy it. Hope you love it. And if you do, give this video some love. How are you? Hey, you Daddy? Are you? What? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't it's see a you. a dream? You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Whoa. Is it you? For real? Are you real? There's gotta be a Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead. At the same time. Daddy, where did you go? I missed you so, so much. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. Rachel. What? Rachel. 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 Oh, that's cold. That was a quick day five, right? <laughs> day six. I think there's nine, ten days in this, I think. So I think we're very close to the end, guys. And I think we're going to try to push through on this. Oh, hello. In my little humble abode here. Is this what I Morning. have my beans in? <laughs> Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian <laughs> style. <laughs> <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Sharp as a tack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, Ooh. sure. The sarcastic bit Okay, strikes okay. Again. It's, um, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast. But it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, uh, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? <laughs> I'm not sure, but... Uh, uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, play them. Let me okay, hear them. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? No, no, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones are better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay, kitchen no. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. What room? I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. 
Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's, it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you, no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. Stop fucking around, Danny. I well, told you, that? I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. Here we are. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear Dad, I... Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep. That's the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think it's all bullshit. <laughs> Totally agree. I had to say that. If they wanted to make a scene, yelling and knocking the camera around. Uh, things people do for five minutes of fame. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. The I'd like one. to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. Look at me. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Mr. Prod is on the spot. Johnny on the spot right there. Look at that. Hey? I found the room. But? But someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. Okay. I need a screwdriver. <laughs> I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. Hold on, wasn't that in the... Seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Yeah. Was it the generator room? I'll let you know. I think it was in that generator room. I think I vaguely remember trying to pick it up because it was saying screwdriver, but it wouldn't let me get it. So, let's go down here. I believe this is the way to get down there. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope. Uh -oh. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. Damn it. You don't stop chiming in. I can't believe it. What a bunch of clowns. In Leonard's hotel. Here. Well, I can see why you're pissed. They must have shown up between deliveries. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Prayer, for example. For me, a black cat crossing the road just means he's on his way somewhere. <laughs> is that your line? Maybe, no, I don't know. Yeah, but that's the room. idea. Screwdriver. I'm out of here. Got it. Now it lets me pick it up. So I guess I couldn't get it till this part in the game. That sucks. Too bad I couldn't have been ahead of the game there. I do not like being down here, though. Like, at all. Jingling? Just listen. There's definitely a jingle. something I did that wolf pig painting their picture isn't that, that creepy it's a little bit creepy
All right. Parabolic microphone. Oh, I know what these things do. Oh, I pick it up. <laughs> you know what this means. We're going to be listening to sounds. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Holy shit. It's like some fucking Blair Witch shit, man. <laughs> they out. Deuces. Oh shit. You see the door? I'm not supposed to be listening to sounds right now. This is so creepy. So creepy, guys. A little towel warmer, don't you? I'm not hearing anything in here. If that's what I'm supposed to be doing, I don't know. But... Hey! Ah! <gasps> Fucking... For serious? For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. the shit out of me! Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Uh, what? Uh, I'm wrong just with curious him? to know what you found in that room. Oh, you should be. You're never going to believe it. They did a good job leading into that because it was all quiet and all of a sudden he's like, hey, <laughs> right in your headphones. It's the Christmas music, man. Ba, 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 da, da, ba. Okay, let's do this. We got a job to do, man. Oh, she done dug everything out of here. What in the hell is that? I feel like I shouldn't go that way yet. What do you think? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not today. Not today, Satan. <laughs> Not going in there. Oh, 
that I can report to him. Because it's Christmas time. Here I am. You Hi. still there? Where else should I be? Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving. <laughs> what about Don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Shit in his pants. Go. In the, in the I promise not mountains. to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. <laughs> I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Oh. Thanks. You're so nice, Irving. Such you always good, do that? Good guy. Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. We've never met, Irving. I can't even picture your face. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> What tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Oh, he's so sweet. Look at him. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yep, I probably would never have said that either two days ago. Maybe once this whole thing is over, he's gonna ask we her. could, uh... We? Uh -oh. Me? Uh -oh. You? Uh -oh, Irving? Us? We'll see. It's sure gonna feel weird not to talk to you at least once a day. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Miss Flattery. Good night, hon. <laughs> Why do I think I that was his mom? To be honest, <laughs> I never thought I'd spend Christmas <laughs> like this. Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was. In the end, there was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. Uh-oh. They... Like hey. Going. And a year later, she killed herself. Yep. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and... Uh, again. Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Wait there. I definitely heard something. I did too. Uh, okay. So I know what we're going to need. This thing. Oh, it's loud. Wait. Now it's gone. I swear to God, if I hear a freaking voice. Oh, come on! I, I was thinking about earlier. You're an asshole! I was happy to have met you. Uh-huh. I, I just... I, I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. I, God, it's towards room you always up talk. I sound like an idiot. Irving, I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now, I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. 
Please, shh, a sec. I'm trying to listen to this I noise. Heard something as soon as I walked oh, in right. there. I get that I might be over Shut up, so Irving! Once, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Shut up, Irving! Anyway, um, later. Okay, I heard something right as I came into this door. That... <gasps> what was that? It was aimed in this direction. I definitely heard it. I can't get the sword you did. There we go. Oh my god, it's whispering. Fucking hell, I just... <laughs> Irving, Fucking bone. you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was... Shut uh, up! Busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What do you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Bullshit! Hotels are full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and it's if you have any trouble, just let me know. Dude, when I hear those whispers, it freaks me out. I'm like, ass pucker in the chair right now. Almost like I hear crying right now. Oh, it's loud back there. right here. That's it. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. You're telling me. <laughs> Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I, I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on the back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm... <laughs> Coming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Fucking hell, man. Please don't make me do this again. You are. <laughs> oh, I definitely fucking heard that. Oh, get out of here. Go, oh, goosebumps all over. And a little bit of cushion just came out of my chair. Oh, God, I need to. Whoo. Okay, day eight. Two days to go. Tomorrow's the last day. Where the fuck am I? Ah! No, 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 no. Where am I? 
Oh shit, I don't have anything, guys. I, I don't have, do I have my map? No, I don't have nothing. No map, no flashlight. I have, am I still in the hotel? What is that? Seven, six. Oh, that's one of those like kids boards. Little games, oh, I'm running, I don't know. Oh God, I don't like those sounds. <laughs> Just keep moving. We're giving up a, my ass gonna be doing some dory right about now. Just keep moving, moving. Where the shit fuck am I? Okay, there's laundry. <laughs> okay, this is the boiler room. I remember this. Then we're going to go this way. I hope that came through good that y'all hear that when this video hits YouTube. That right at the end of day seven, when that thing t spoke, whatever, ghost. Okay, I need to get back to my room. I think that's a good starting point to figure out what the fuck is going on. Is I don't have the phone, I don't have flashlights, I don't have nothing. I cannot be wandering around this hotel with no flashlight. Go! Oh, don't stare at the creepy wolf. Don't stare at the creepy wolf. Oh, I just heard something. Now I'm not even sure where the hell I'm at. Okay, there's that room we investigated. So the master suite's back there. I just came to the wrong. Go! Every sound, man, when you're on edge like this, every sound is amplified. Get me inside. Shut the door! Oh, come on. Tell me the phone is here. Something. Nope. Nope. Not today. Oh, here's my inventory. Thank you. Oh my God. Irving. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. For real, dude? <laughs> it's a little <laughs> late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? No. No, yes. it's fucking not. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... Hell. I sleepwalked. Like... In the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Now, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. Damn right I don't want to go back there now. But I'll think about it. Oh, uh, Irving? Yeah? <laughs> I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Yo, please tell me I don't know, gotta go down there. Please, please. Oh, come on. I gotta go back to the church. See right there? <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. We can do this. I really don't want to. I really know how to get back. Please, with the creepy sounds.
The guy is so on edge, guys. Wait. Why would I do this? Okay. I was about to ring that bell. Ring the bell, bitch! Oh, here he comes. Uh, hi. Uh, I, I was thinking. Just keep talking there to me. There really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you're excluding the idea that I received our Lord's calling in the dream? <laughs> I never thought about that. Okay, there was the laundry Sister room. Nicole doesn't sound bad at so all, I came though. came from this way, right? Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All uh, yep, right, all right. right. So... If I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities, you know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm... <laughs> No. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Oh god, here we go, guys. I wanted to wait till that talk was over before I actually got there. I know I gotta use this. 100%. I'm not hitting the button until we're in there. Because I don't want to hear no creepy shit. I can't take no more. I'm losing my mind. Well, here we are. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end, round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, all that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How it's... I... I... Wow. Total mystery. Well, I got to remember Wanna that play? riddle. Uh, I Shit. yes, I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Okay. You had to hit that. You want to play the organ in a church in the middle of the night? Really? Not really. Hey, what are you doing there? Dunno, I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. I'm a Phantom of the Opera fan. 
It's been years since anyone played it. My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you to play it it's something to in Portland. Here. You're better off listening to a cat in heat than my skills. <laughs> well, you can always pick it up again. That's what I say. Even if I don't think it's crucial. You don't I mean, want to hear me sing. The organ. <laughs> you yeah, ever heard a cat right. get neutered? Tell that to my mom. Essential part <laughs> of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Well, she's so perfect. Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for Mountain Wanderers. God damn sons of... Oh, I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Oh, okay, okay. In the sentinel report here, it looks like. What? Oh, fucking hell. You practicing for the church choir now? Uh, I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. Oh, fuck out of hell, man. So I gotta remember this stupid-ass riddle. I've already forgotten it. There's something like, down the stairs, turn, and straight ahead. Right? And then turn around or something. Down the stairs, turn around. There your path is. I'm probably saying that. I'm probably butchering that. What the hell? See that butterfly? What? <gasps> is that the... Down the... St that's the pole. is in here man okay because I love to torture myself oh god is that breathing Fuck. Fuck all. What? The hell is that written there for? You've got to be shitting me. Oh, shit. 
So, found the mystery decorations? Yeah, I'd say no. something no. like that. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's... Like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. I think you're right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm <laughs> telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's... Her room, a, a replica. What the uh, fuck? You don't know that. You, you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. A retainer box. Did you get out of there? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't. Let me go on. What the fuck is this key to? Hey, can you hear me? Yes. You have to call someone. You have to get out of there right oh, now. Shit, no, man. I found a key. It's from my old music box, the one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following it. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think? Someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If I'm someone not. was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. What the hell's up with the word retard on there, though? Seriously. That just, like, that seems like anger. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why... Why all of this? We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen, a bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years. And now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there, in total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience, he... He wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. I can't believe you said something like that. Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... 
Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. But fucking hell, don't you dare even think Jesus. that. Jesus, I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Jesus. Ah, the music box, that's right. Okay. Cool. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. It's very freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. No, they said she's Then, the lipstick still from ten hotel. years ago turns up, still good, and then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But oh, if she's still shit. alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a well. message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Well, we're here. Let's do it. All right, put that flashlight away. Here we go. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? Then you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here, and we leave with my Uncle John's. They never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? One of the rare times she actually dresses him as Daddy instead of Leonard. Day nine. This is the day. This is it. Okay. Oh. I know. I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. 
So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's gotta be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. Oh. In my music box, I found the medal I won what? the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there. And if he did, there must be a reason. It... It all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. The storeroom. Where did they say? What? Hold on, where is the mezzanine? Hold on. What's the overlook? It's the museum. Hang on. Okay. Still not seeing it. It's a sweet overlook. Ah, there it is, right by the hall. Okay, so it's like underneath reception. Is that what she said? Okay. Oh God, I heard something. Please don't be something in front of me when I put down this map. Please. Okay. I don't like those creeks. I don't, man. Okay, so. Hold on. Is there a way to get behind here? Okay, here's reception. What is that? <gasps> Come on, man. It's not yet. I don't get what they're saying. Would they say something like above reception or some crap? Oh. Fucking sneaky. Get the fuck out of here. What in the fuck is that? Oh god, is there turn on power? No. I really what? Yeah, one of these things is gonna grab me. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. I hear the whispers. I even got the mic out. Dude, what the fuck? Irving? Hello? Can you hear me? Get I'm on the, the mezzanine. And it's a nightmare. There are mannequins what does that say? everywhere. Nicole? They're set up what? like in a scene. The, the, there's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? It's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But 
Why my hockey stick? She didn't commit suicide. Hello? Hello? Oh, God, why isn't he answering? What the... oh. Irving, I swear, I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. I heard some shit. I don't know what to do now. I know I want to get out of here. Let me out! Let me out! Where are you, Nicole? <sighs> oh, it's buddy. about time. I'm glad to hear your voice. Ah, that was the fucking bell. Did you hear my messages? That was the bell down How many in the doors. Have you opened, Nicole? What? How many are still missing? What doors are you talking about? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving. What the hell is he talking about? I don't get what he means. Wait, no. Should I go back to my room? Oh, this isn't the way of my room. Irving, what are you doing? What's hiding behind second floor sealed door? Ah, okay. That's that locked area that we can't get into. It's uh, this way, right? Oh, get fucked. Dude, it's open. Fucking get out of town, man. This is fucking crazy. I can't go in any of these, can I? No. What the shit is this? Dude. Is that my car? That is. That's her car. Montana weather. What the fuck, man? Is this all about me? Yep, that's definitely my, that's my car parked in the damn garage. <gasps> that's one of those goddamn things. The same phone I have. No, it's him. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What? What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this That's mean? The, room. the freezer? How far do you want to push yourself? Wow. How much can you take? What? Every memory. It was all him. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband. A lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. You got I didn't me. choose this path. How long has I had he been to do here it for? What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls, under the floorboards that creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. 
you. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't wow. understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years. Day after day after day. Jesus, oh, he's lies. been here all the time. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made his of soul? silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His... wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Oh my god. Or what retard meant. She had Down That's syndrome. what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her, but I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. Jesus Christ. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Holy shit. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that... confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. For the first time in years, I depended on someone. And this is the result. You have to keep going. To get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Man, dude. I knew this story. Like, I knew it was going to get deep, but I had no idea it was going to get that deep, guys. Wow. So it wasn't just this kind of statutory rape type of thing, like her dad having an affair with the 16-year-old. Rachel had special, was special needs. And all these years, everybody thought it was a suicide. She was murdered. Wow.
few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, I am you good surely at resemble shit. more your mother <laughs> than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There's a lot of light here. There's light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo, so... How are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Whoa. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. What? She's here. What? Oh, oh. no. Oh. Rachel. Oh, please. I did not do this. No, there's no way I'm, I killed her. I was a kid. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. That's all I'm asking. Oh, that's creepy. Jesus. What's this? Claire. Is that the key to her mom's car? Her mom's name was Claire, right? Oh, something open, something open. This is bullshit, man. This is scary as shit. God. What's that say? Get the hell out of here. I'm taking it. We have to go down to inside Claire's car. Yep. That was definitely your mom's keys to her car. God, all these sounds, man. It's like it's all popping off right now. Look it! I just... Don't jump out and grab me. Don't do any of that crazy shit. Please. Oh! oh, here he goes. Hello. Leonard was a very special man. 
His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You're damn right I want to run away. You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. <laughs> but you're different when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I, I didn't lie to you. I protected yeah. you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain, maybe better than anyone. This is it. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Oh, shit. What's in this trunk? This better not be her body. What is that? What is that? What did I just take? Blanket? Wash it, wash it, wash it. Okay. Laundry room it is. Wasn't, and that's right over here. I believe. Not that way. Shut that one. I think it was this way. At least I thought it was. <laughs> So that's the way to the church. Is this, yep, here we go. The fuck? I can't wash it. I'm going in every single one of these. What do I gotta do to put it in there? I don't get it. What was that? said wash it but you can't use uh, ah okay the sink yep <laughs> what the fuck that's her <gasps> that's Rachel's retainer What? Oh God! How could I have forgotten? There's no I, way she did this. I saw I, everything. I refuse to believe this. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family, you and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there. Red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. 
That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What wow. was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, oh, God. A disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. Her mom. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She cleaned it. Oh God, her mom killed Rachel and the unborn baby. No. Wow. I, I don't. Go on. We, we got there on time, and I played best game of my life, and the last. Claire was on the bleachers, encouraging me and cheering, and then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. Oh, shit. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled oh. in the blanket. God. Oh my Bro. God. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. Plus, she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is is here. You know, I I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. No, they were kids. What could they have done? It's beautiful here. <sighs> Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so What? Irving, where are you? It's quite as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. Now I can finally rest in the light. I can and go back to her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Holy shit! Don't leave me, too. He's just walking off into we the. We have our drink. Snow it's not a goodbye, my tough, oh, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again another time. He's gonna let himself die beyond this 
horizon of events. Everything is... Oh... Nothing? Nothing? I, I don't want to stay alone here. I... I... Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... What is that? You hear the footsteps? Ah, who's there? Oh, shit. Rachel? She's here. Oh, is that God, you? don't scare me. Please don't scare me. Where is she? Is that it? What the fuck is going on? Man, I'm in my car. How do I how do I answer it? Oh! Shit! I didn't see the phone right in front of my face. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. What the Thanks. fuck? I'm back home, and I have to stay here forever. What the f is she doing? What the hell's going on? <laughs> Your fee. <laughs> She's spoken like a true attorney. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. What the fuck is that? You know, Mom, I was thinking what? about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day, but they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? What It'd the? It'd be so nice to be all together. I think she's absolutely well, lost her mind at this yeah. point. But I mean, who wouldn't? It would be so. You just nice. relived all that. That you had blocked out for that, and it, all that to come rushing back? Fuck, man. Gear used. Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. What the fuck? Stop it. No. Anger should I know. Be you said that. I'm scared. <gasps> is she gonna you is it Rachel making her kill herself? I don't wanna die. No, 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 no. Oh I can't no. See the light. Just turn it off. <coughs> turn it off. Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes. Like a whole family. No more anger. Just love. Oh wow. What an ending, guys. Wow. That's just Danielle Azara. Written and directed. Absolutely phenomenal story. Yeah, very deep, very deep. Uh, as I said in the first video of the series, uh, it was going to get deep. I didn't know how deep. I knew it was going to get deep, but I did not expect that. Wow.
Wow. Hi guys. I do hope you thoroughly enjoyed this series. And, you know, can't wait to do another one. Peace out.